unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard a thing or two about ChatGPT. And if by chance you haven't heard about ChatGPT, don't worry, you're in the right spot. We'll go over it today. We can use ChatGPT in our Etsy e-commerce businesses to help us save time and make more sales. As a matter of fact, as I was putting this video together, I got curious and thought, well, why don't I just ask ChatGPT to write this YouTube script for me and see what it comes up with? Check out this intro. Hey there, welcome to this video where we'll explore how you can use ChatGPT to improve your Etsy e-commerce businesses and save yourself tons of time. If you're not familiar with ChatGPT, it's a language model developed by OpenAI that can generate human-like responses to a wide range of questions and prompts. By leveraging its capabilities, you can get insights, ideas, and suggestions to optimize your Etsy store and increase your sales. Now, I'm not gonna go with the entire script that they came up with for me, but I will come back to it here and there because they did do a really good job of making some interesting points and organizing some of the information in a way that was really smart and clever. We are gonna ask it five questions. We'll start with a cool question and we'll, as we go through the video, we'll get to more complex and interesting questions that I think you'll see how you can really save yourself some serious time when utilizing this. It's Simply Shauna here, and if you are a subscriber, I welcome you back, and if you're not a subscriber yet, we hope you'll join our community today. I'm a six-figure seller on Etsy, and I have recently quit my full-time teaching job to grow my Etsy shop, and am now making over twice what I was making as a school teacher. If I can do it, you could do it too, and I share that story here on this channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. First, you'll need to sign up for an account and provide just some basic information if you haven't already done that. We're using just the free version today. That's all I've used so far on ChatGPT. So all of the examples on the questions that we're doing today can all be done with the free version. All I'm doing here on the computer is in the search bar, I'm putting ChatGPT, if my fingers wanna click the right things, and right here at the top, it says open AI. It's that little black box, that little white circle-y thing. And here we go. And I'm gonna do try chat, chat GPT. And then I'm gonna do sign up. And you can either continue with Google, which is what I usually do, or you can put your email address and uh, just put some basic information in there. And then that'll open you up to being able to use chat GPT. Once you're in, you'll see that send a message bar down at the bottom there. And I put in what are some effective ways to promote my Etsy store. And this is how we're going to start the conversation with chat GPT. We're going to start our chat. I'm going to click that little airplane icon. And now she's generating a response. Promoting your Etsy store requires a combination of marketing strategies to get more traffic to your shop and convert visitors into customers. Here are some effective ways to promote your Etsy store. And she's gonna give a couple of suggestions. Um, I'm gonna read just a couple of them to you or parts of them. One, optimize your Etsy shop. Make sure, and she goes on to like explain that. Make sure your Etsy shop is optimized with high quality images, clear descriptions, and relevant keywords to rank higher in Etsy search results. Results. Two, use social media, and she goes on to explain that one. Three, collaborate with your with other Etsy sellers. Four, offer promotions. Five, participate in local markets. Six, utilize Etsy ads. Seven, utilize email marketing. Each of these she went on to explain a bit more. And up in the corner, you'll see she's going to save this chat for us. We can always come back to it later and revisit this chat. Now we're only getting started. We want to have a conversation with her. We're going to keep chatting. I could now ask her about one of those things she mentioned. I could say to her, hey, ChatGPT, could you tell me more about Etsy ads and how those work? Which is great. I've always personally liked getting that kind of information from YouTube, from sellers that have had success with what they're talking about. So we're gonna veer this conversation in another direction with something that maybe she can help us do to help us save time in our Etsy stores. 
And actually, I guess that's the perfect moment to let you know, I do have an ads video where I really go a deep dive into how to do ads if that happens to be something you're more interested in learning about. I will link it down in the description below in case you want to check it out. I continue the conversation by saying, cool, can you help me rewrite my Etsy product description so that it's optimized? And I just, clicked, I just clicked it through and it's got the little three dots going back and forth. She's thinking and now she's creating a response to that question. She says, of course, I'd be happy to help you optimize your Etsy product description. Here are some tips to keep in mind as you write. And she just gives me some generic tips. But what I really wanted was for her to rewrite one that I already had written. So I gave the response a thumbs down and she regenerated the response for me and instead asked me to provide her with the existing description of my product and the relevant keywords that I wanted to target. I went ahead and copy and pasted a description into the answer box there. And now she is rewriting the description for me. And we're going to take a look, a side-by-side -side look at this description in just a moment. It's actually a description that I got off of a listing that looked like it could use a little help with its description. Just a random listing that I found on Etsy. It's not actually one of mine. Although, I absolutely could do this on mine and improve it further. Here's a side-by-side -side look at the original on the left and the chat GPT version on the right. You'll find that the original starts with just a couple of keywords, pizza slayer shirt, funny t-shirt, soft and comfy unisex tee, fast free shipping. And then it's just got some points over there, printed on soft and comfy unisex tee, heather gray tee shown in pic, sleeves rolled and not at bottom for pic. This is more of a boyfriend fit in size extra small through 2XL. We have received feedback that shirts can that shirts run true to a men's size. With that being said, if you want more of a ladies fit, we suggest going down one size or measure for accuracy. And then they've got a couple of bulleted points there. I won't read them to you, but I'll let you kind of scan them with your eyes. And now let's take a look at how she redid this. Get ready to slay some pizza with this funny pizza slayer shirt. Our soft and comfy unisex tee is perfect for anyone who loves pizza and wants to show it off with a touch of humor. This shirt is printed on a high quality 4.2 ounce 100% heirloom combed and ring spun cotton tee that's lightweight and comfortable to wear. The athletic heather color is 9010 heirloom combed and ring spun cotton. It give, it's pulling in some of those specifics from down below. I'd probably take that out. It makes it a little boring. Uh, but it's you're showing how she's taking those statements from the bottom and really connecting it these ideas and sentences. All right, let's skip down to the second paragraph. Our Pizza Slayer shirt features a retail fit with side seams and shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder taping for adding durability. It's a unisex sizing, so keep in mind that it runs true to a men's size. If you want a more fitted look, we suggest going down one size or measuring for accuracy. Please note that the Heather Gray tee shown in the picture has sleeves rolled and knotted at the bottom for the photo. Order now and enjoy fast free shipping. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact us. Check out our main shop page to see more cool shirts. Now, that's pretty impressive. You could probably imagine, though, the better the description is that we give her, the even more impressive description she can spit back out. Now, I don't know that I would use it exactly the way she's going to give it. Like, as the person that owns our shop and knows some things about our items, we might break it up just a little bit different. Like I'd probably use those, you know, all of that percentage and the weights and all of that. Instead of putting that in a sentence, leave those in bulleted points somewhere in my listing. But the rest of it I thought was absolutely fantastic. The way that she connected her sentences and used those keywords within sentences, which is really what Etsy wants us to be doing anyways in the tops of our descriptions to go along with our SEO or our search engine optimization words. That's really the way we should be doing it. So she is optimizing it, and it does look and sound more professional. 
We're gonna jump into question number three. I just put in the search bar down there, can you give me some t-shirt niche ideas that are not saturated on Etsy? And I could probably sit and have a conversation with her about this all afternoon. I've played around with this topic quite a bit with her and she comes up with some great ideas. So here she says gardening. Well, first she says, sure, here are some niche t-shirt ideas that may not be saturated on Etsy. One, gardening. Create t-shirts for gardening enthusiasts with slogans and designs related to planting, growing, and nurturing plants. Two, eco-friendly. Design t-shirts with eco-friendly messages and slogans for sustainable living and environmental consciousness. I'm going to just kind of say what each of these are, but just know that she does give kind of an explanation of each. Three, spiritual. And she gives specific examples of that. Four, astronomy. Five, local pride, which I thought was interesting. Create t-shirts that showcase the pride of your local town, city, or state with slogans and, slogans and designs related to local landmarks, history, and culture. Six, food and drink. Seven, fitness. Eight, music. And she reminds us at the end, remember to conduct some research to ensure that your chosen niche has enough demand and audience to make it worthwhile. Good luck. So we're going to keep this conversation going and I'm going to ask her to give me some more ideas. So I just said, can you give me some uh, more ideas? She says, of course, here are some additional niche t-shirt ideas for Etsy. One, animal lovers. Design t-shirts with images of animals or slogans promoting animal rights or animal rescue. Two, outdoor adventures. Create t-shirts that showcase the beauty of nature or slogans related to outdoor activities, such as hiking, camping, or fishing. Now, if I wanted to dig deeper into that one, I could ask her for more examples of outdoor adventures. Now, she goes on to give some other interesting ones here. Three, retro style. Design t-shirts with vintage-inspired designs or slogans and images from past decades. Four, health and wellness. Create t-shirts with messages promoting healthy habits, such as mindfulness, meditation, or yoga. Five, she mentions pop culture here. Now, here I would be careful. She talks about movies, TV quotes, or, or books. We don't want to infringe or get into a problem with trademarks or copyrights. So this is not an end-all, be-all answer. You do have to kind of pair this with other things that you've learned and things that you know when while you're researching how to conduct your business. So number six, career or occupation. She mentions occupations such as nursing, teaching, law enforcement. The last suggestion on this list is LGBTQ pride designs. And then she goes on to mention using rainbow colors and messages that promote equality and acceptance. Remember to choose a niche that you are passionate about and have knowledge of. This will make it easier to come up with creative ideas for t-shirt designs that resonate with your audience, which is fantastic advice. Thank you, ChatGPT. One of the suggestions she gave was professions. So I asked her to give us some more ideas about professions we could make shirts about. And so she goes on to give us a list, dentistry, law enforcement, nursing, hairstylists, engineering, accountants, and real estate. And within each of those, she goes on to give some, you know, pretty good suggestions about making sure that we're including funny phrases and puns. And even with nursing, she says using nurse related designs, such as stethoscopes, scrubs, and nursing puns. For real estate down there, she says, create t-shirts with designs that feature houses or buildings or that celebrate the work of real estate agents. So all these, these great ideas that she's generating as we're chatting with her. Back to the YouTube script that ChatGPT wrote for us. As you can see, ChatGPT can provide valuable insights and suggestions to help you improve your Etsy business. Of course, it's important to remember that its responses are generated by an AI model and may not always be perfect or applicable to your specific situation. It's also a good idea to use your own judgment and test different strategies to see what works best for you. All right, we're gonna keep chatting about ChatGPT. I've got two more questions for you that I think you'll love. But before we do, if you are finding value from this video, please don't forget to go ahead and smash that like button. And also, I would love for you to jump down in the comments and give me a question that you think it would be fun 
to check out on chat GPT. You can bet this is how I'm gonna be spending the rest of my afternoon. I'm sure some people will come up with some creative ideas that I'll be sitting there doing chat GPT questions with. And for our fourth type of question that we can use chat GPT to save us some time is, can you give me ideas for funny phrases I can put on a shirt? In this case, I asked for accountant shirts since she mentioned that as one of the professions. So of these 10 suggestions, I wasn't super impressed. I've done this with other topics and been more, more impressed. I did like from this one here, number three, accounting, it's not just a job, it's a balance of life. And number four, don't worry, I'm an accountant. I know how to handle your assets. I thought that one was pretty funny. And then, so I asked again if she could do a deeper dive and give me some more ideas. And here I liked number one, I'm an accountant. I don't have problems, I just balance them. And number six, I'm an accountant. I put the fun in funds. Actually, that one was my favorite one. If I was doing accountant shirts, that's the one I'd start with. We're going to move on to a fifth type of question, but I'm really glad this just happened. You see that red box around that? It says something went wrong. I had to refresh the screen to get it working again. And I think this is because we're using the free version of ChatGPT, but when I refreshed, I was good to go. Now I could put my fifth type of question in here, and I ask her to please write a template to send to customers when shipments are delayed. Dear customer, we hope this message finds you well. We are writing to inform you that there has been a delay in the shipment of your order. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused you. We understand how important it is for you to receive your order on time, and we want to assure you that we are doing everything we can to get your order to you as soon as possible. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, there has been a delay in the shipping process. Our team is currently working with our shipping partners to resolve the issue and get your order to you as soon as possible. We will keep you updated on the progress of your shipment and let you know as soon as it is on its way. Once again, we apologize for the delay and any inconvenience it may have caused. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We appreciate your patience and understanding during this time. Thank you for your continued support and choosing to shop with us. Best regards, your name or company name. Now I might not use the templates that we can get her to create and you could probably imagine all of the other types of templates we could have her create for the types of quest questions we get from customers or the types of things that we have to send to customers. I might not use them exact, but it gives a really nice starting place a very professional sounding document that we can use or insert or change bits and pieces to maybe spice it up a little bit or bring a little more warmth to it. Also, we could get her to perfect these things. We can give her feedback on how it sounds and what types of things we want her to include and get her to rewrite it for us. Let's try that real quick. Now I'm done in the search bar and I'm asking her, can you include a better excuse in this message for the delayed shipping. There we go. And she's going to include a better excuse this time. Not that I really think we need to include a better excuse, but just for fun to see what she generates here. And this time she adds a little, a few sentences in there. Uh, looks like it's in the second paragraph. She says, including unforeseen manufacturing delays and unexpected weather conditions. So she added a little excuse. I can only imagine all of the excuses my former fourth graders are now giving their teachers, and I'm quite certain that none of them are writing their own papers anymore. Guys, let's keep chatting in this video here, but first, this tip from Tucker. Tucker, take it away!